American warplanes have carried out a new series of airstrikes on jihadists in the battle for the Kurdish town of Kobani in Syria. After months of fierce fighting, the defenders of the town have reportedly managed to halt the onslaught of Islamic State. Now Kurds are slowly retaking the districts of Kobani street by street. Syrian observers say more than 370 Islamic State fighters have been killed, with the Kurdish death toll just under 300. RT's Malik Gazdiev met with those who survived the jihadi occupation, and they've told him of the atrocities the group is committing. <laughs> This footage was shot by Bazi, a Kurdish activist who for the past few months has been documenting the atrocities of the Islamic State in the Syrian city of Kobani. Having crossed briefly into Turkey, he and his wife agreed to talk to RT and lend credence to the rumors of the group's trademark brutality. Much of what he filmed is too graphic to show and even hearing about them isn't much better. There was a man, uh, his Down syndrome, he couldn't understand the situation to flee or to, to run away from the front line. When ISIS arrived, they beheaded him and take his photo and share it on social media, on them social media. Yes, so we killed uh, an atheist, a kafir one. He was then Down syndrome. They also told us of chemical attacks, the latest of which was reported just weeks ago. Bazan is showing us videos he recorded in uh, a Kurdish mall uh, in the city of Kobani. Uh, there were many burn victims, they were burned by white phosphorus. And he says, no matter how small the injury, death was almost certain. Quite literally, Bazan says, the victims burned from the inside out once the chemical entered the bloodstream. He also showed us pictures of cluster bombs fired by the Islamists at Kobani. Many failed to detonate and lay scattered on the ground. He says they are often mistaken for toys and picked up by the local children. Only to explode. One such youngster, Abdul, reportedly died instantly. The Islamic State, I would say, is seen by people not so much with fear, but with horror. For smoking, they chop your fingers off. For drinking, you go to jail. And if a woman is seen in the company of a man who is not her relative, she is stoned to death. Roshan also described to us one way in which the Islamic State trains its new fighters. In May, ninth-year pupils went to Aleppo for their exams. The jihadists kidnapped all the boys, confined them to a mosque and made them study Sharia law. Those who did not learn the Quran quickly enough were shocked with electric cables. Nobody did, never animals did this. After about a week in Turkey, Bazan and his wife are now heading back to Kobani. Their work to document the true horrors of what's happening there is far from over. Morad Gazdiev, RT, from the Turkey-Syria border.